80 for Brady, I'm pleased to say, is a really enjoyable film. I wasn't entirely sure how much I'd like this because I love the cast, but I don't care about football. So it could have gone either way for me. Thankfully, I really liked it. This was released uh, this year, 2023, directed by Kyle Marvin, written by Sarah Haskins and Emily Holpern. And it's apparently very, very loosely based on a true story. And that in itself is interesting, but from what I've read, it is very, very loose. Um, which is, it, it doesn't really affect the experience, but I watched it believing it to be quite a true story. And then afterwards read that actually most of it was fabricated for the narrative, which I think maybe changes the viewing experience slightly. Because it's a really emotional, beautiful, sentimental story. And watching it thinking it was based on truth definitely made it a different experience. So that's just something that's worth bearing in mind going into it. But we have this amazing cast, uh, Jane Fonda, Rina Moreno, Sally Field and Lily Tomlin, who are elderly fans of Tom Brady. They're over, Well, most of them are over the age of 80. Um, and they really want to go to the Super Bowl and see Tom Brady play. And they decide to enter a competition to win four tickets to the Super Bowl and I won't say exactly what happens with that but it's quite interesting and the majority of the film is about them taking this trip to the Super Bowl having the NFL experience and generally making these memories these incredible memories as a group of four friends and I just think it's it's fabulous it's definitely for me character driven the narrative I, I on the one hand, I love, because I love the idea of these women in their later years doing something that people in their later years maybe typically would not do, and giving this message that it's never too late. And I absolutely love that. But the football aspect, I, I didn't care for. Of course I didn't. But at the same time, because the characters are so brilliant and just so fascinating to watch, I really enjoyed that part of it. And even when the football aspect is more prominent, I never found that I didn't like it very much because the characters were just so great. The performances were so brilliant that I just enjoyed it completely from start to finish. It is quite emotional. There are times when it definitely gets a little bit harder to watch because of it being quite emotional. But comedy is usually right there on the surface when that happens. So it never drags the mood down too much but there's enough in there to give it a deeper meaning and make it a much more emotional experience and I think they got the balance there spot on for any fans of football or Tom Brady Tom Brady is actually in it which I thought was uh, I guess pretty cool uh, we also have a great supporting cast we have Billy Porter as Gugu who is a great character we have Jimmy O'Yang um, various other uh, brilliant supporting characters to make it a really brilliant well-rounded well-developed fascinating fun and a little bit emotional story it could have gone either way for me because of the football aspect and I have to say if like me you looked at this and thought wow that's an amazing cast but I don't like football give it a go because I think it's really worth it as I said when I watched it I thought it was very heavily based on truth from what I've read that's not quite the case and it, it does slightly affect my emotional response to it but not completely it's still a really enjoyable film either way if you haven't seen it I definitely recommend it I think it's fully worth watching um, regardless of whether you like football or not I really I do I genuinely do not care about sports-based films there are very few that I like and I don't think well, I was going to say I don't think there's any football film that I like. I don't know if I've ever seen any. Uh, American football, that is. So that's something for me to think about. But regardless of whether I've seen others or not, 80 for Brady was a delight. The performances are brilliant. It's very, very well written. The pacing is great. It's funny. It's emotional. It's everything I hoped it would be. And I definitely recommend it.